Alright, welcome to the dig site quest. This is a prerequisite quest for a bunch of stuff, including desert treasure, recipe for disaster, bone voyage, and some achievement diary stuff. You're gonna need level 10 agility, level 10 herb lore, and level 25 thieving. In your inventory, you should have an opal, either cut or uncut is fine, pestle and mortar, an empty vial, a cup of tea, two rope, some leather boots, some leather gloves, although I did this with the graceful boots and gloves and that seemed to work fine, so just wear your boots and gloves the whole time. Uh, Varak teleport, either runes or teletab is fine, also this is optional, just save some running. A tinderbox, energy or super energy or a stamina potion. This is a run around quest, so definitely bring a bunch for maximum speediness. And a piece of food or two if your HP is really low. We have to pickpocket a few times and you might get smacked around for a few damage. As far as dig site teleports go, I don't think they actually help much. But if you have a bunch of GP burning a hole in your little pocket, grab two of them. A more affordable option is a dueling ring, and it has a teleport to the duel arena, which is about the same distance as the dig site teleport to the exam center, which is where we have to return a bunch of times. There's no battles in this quest, so for gear you don't need a weapon, and just wear any weight reducing gear you have. I don't have the full graceful outfit on this account, so uh, just ignore my uh, topless graceful get up here. <laughs> Anyway, the quest starts at the exam center, south of the dig site. As a note, you can't use the gate up here to the north, you have to use this one down here. So go inside and talk to any one of the examiners in here. She says if you want to dig around in the dig site areas to the north, you have to pass some exams. So ask if you can take the exam. She'll say you have to get approval from the curator of the Varrock Museum and will give you a letter. So, use your Varrock teleport and head to the museum. Find curator Haig Halen and talk to him. He says, sure thing, go ahead and take the exam. Well, that sure was worthwhile, cause now it's time to go right back to the exam center. So, use your dig site teleport or dueling ring teleport if you want, or just run your way back to the exam center. Once you're back, talk to one of the examiners again. You'll give her the stamped letter and the exam will begin. There will be three questions, just choose any random answer to these since no matter what you pick, you'll get them wrong. The examiner will tell you to go ask some of the other students for answers. Alright, time to run around some more. Head out of the building and follow the path north. Take the little wooden bridge heading east and then search this bush here you'll find this disturbing looking teddy bear. Like if a teddy bear had a baby with E.T. <laughs> then run along down this path and pickpocket this dig site workman. Right click to get an option to steal from dig site workman. Keep stealing from him until you get an animal skull. If you happen to get a specimen brush from him, don't toss it, we'll need it later. After that, head to the northwest section of the dig site. Find the student dressed in purple and talk to her. She says she'll help you if you return her missing teddy bear, which, ta-da, we have here. Just talk to her again and she'll tell you the answer to one of the quiz questions. Next, run a little to the east where you'll find another student. Talk to him and he says he's missing his special cup. So that's on our stuff to find list now. We'll pick that up in a minute here. And if you run a little to the south, there's another student walking around. Talk to him, and surprise, he's missing something too! His animal skull. Talk to him again, you'll give him the skull, and he'll give you the answer to a question. So we've just got to find that second student's cup. So run to the south a bit, and there's a tent with a panning tray in it. Pick up the panning tray, and then click on one of the bubbling areas. As soon as you try, the panning guide will yell at you and says you aren't allowed. He says he wants a cup of tea before he'll let you pan, so he'll just take the cup of tea from you. Okay, now try the panning again on the bubbling spot. 
Once you get the message about lifting the full tray from the water, click on the panning tray in your inventory to see what's in it. Just keep searching until you get the special cup. And a side note, you can exchange three golden nuggets at the museum for, for one gold ore, so probably just want to toss those if you get some. Once you find the cup, go ahead and make your way back to the orange shirt student. He'll take the cup and answer one of the exam questions. Now you can head back to the exam center to take the exam. Go on in and talk to an examiner. Say, yep, you're ready to take the exam. So the answer to the first question is the study of the earth, its contents and history. The answer to the second question is all that have passed the appropriate earth science exam. And the answer to the third question is gloves and boots to be worn at all times. Proper tools must be used. Okay, we passed the test. Here's the certificate for you to hang on your wall. Not really. <laughs> you also get a trowel, which you'll need later on, so don't drop it. So next we have to pass the level two exam. For this, we just have to go around and talk to all the students again, and they will tell us the answers to the second exam. So head north and find the purple student. Talk to her and she'll give you an answer. Run west to find the orange shirt student and talk to him and he'll give you another answer. And then run south and find the final student and surprise, he'll give you the last answer. That's all we need for the second exam, so run back to the building. Talk to the examiner and tell her you're ready for the next exam. So the first answer is, Samples taken in rough form, kept only in sealed containers. The second answer is, finds must be carefully handled and gloves worn. Third answer is, always handle with care, strike cleanly on its cleaving point. Okay, we passed. Okay, another certificate. And round three. Yeah, we've just gotta talk to the students for a third time. <laughs> so head on back to Blondie. She says she won't tell you the answer until you give her an opal. Okay, whatever, girl. So talk to her again and she'll take your opal and tell you the answer. Well, I could just copy and paste my voiceover from the previous section because now we just have to run back around to the other students again. So head on over to Mr. Goatee and get his answer. And then down to the third student. Hmm, don't have a good nickname for him. Got his answer, and then back to the exam center. Talk to an examiner and tell her you're ready for the last exam. And the question one answer is, samples cleaned and carried only in specimen jars. Uh, question two answer is, brush carefully and slowly using short strokes. Question three answer is, handle bones very carefully and keep them away from other samples. All right, now we are a master digger, or uh, I mean archeologist. Okay, now for exam four. Nah, just kidding, we're gonna do something different. Uh, go over to this area over here and open the cupboard and search it to get a specimen jar. Now head back up to the dig site. If you didn't get a specimen brush before when pickpocketing, steal from the dig site worker until you get one. Okay, got one. Next, run north to the dig site up here. Go on in and start using your trowel on the soil here. We're looking for an ancient talisman, which may take a few tries to find. You'll get a bunch of junk, but you can just drop it on the ground. When you find the talisman, you'll get a message in the chat box, so it should be easy to recognize when you've got it. Now head on back to the exam center. When you get there, talk to the archaeological expert. He'll take a look at it and say it was from a god named Zaros. He says it's pretty cool, and he'll let you go down into the dig shafts to find some more stuff. He'll take your artifact and give you a letter that says you can go down into the dig shafts. Now run back up to the dig site, and go northish, and 
find there's this weird contraption and a hole in the ground. Find one of the walking around dig site workmen and use the invitation letter on him. Now go back to the thing over here and use one of your ropes on the winch. Then click on it and you'll climb down into the mine shaft. While you're here, grab the arsenia root over here since we'll need it later. Now run over this way and click on this weird debris on the ground. Now we have to figure out a way to move all of these bricks out of the way, so next climb back up the rope. And on the surface, run this way until you get to the other winch and hole in the ground. Use your other rope on this winch and then click to go down into the dig shaft. Down here lurking about is a guy named Doug Deeping. Ask him, how could I move a large pile of rocks? He says there was a dude who knew a recipe for an explosive that was great for clearing tunnels and gives you a key to a chest that has some of the ingredients for the explosive. Okay, climb back up the rope to the surface. Next head south to the tent where we got the panning tray before. So next we have to gather some ingredients to make the explosive. Use your key on the chest and search it to find some chemical powder. Then head over here. You'll see that one of the barrels has this skull on it. Use your trowel on this barrel to open it. And then use your empty vial on the barrel to get some liquid. And as your character warns you, don't use the drop feature on this item or you'll take some hefty damage. So next we need some charcoal. So go over here to the specimen tray and search it until you get some charcoal, which may take quite a few searches. Once you find one, use it on your pestle and mortar to grind it up. And as a side note, if you're planning to do the desert treasure quest, you can grab an extra charcoal now, since you'll need it for that quest. Next, run back to the exam center. Once you're there, use the chemical powder on the archeological expert to learn it is ammonium nitrate. And use a vial of liquid on him to learn it's nitroglycerin. Now, use the ammonium nitrate powder on the vial of nitroglycerin and then the ground charcoal on the vial of mixed chemicals. And finally, use the arsenia root on the vial and then your character should remark that it looks right. Okay, almost done now. Head back to the entrance to the dig shaft of the dig site. Once there, click it to climb down. Next, use the chemical compound on the brick, and then use your tinderbox on the brick. Your character will automatically run away, there will be this explosion, and then you can run through the new gap. Inside you'll find a chamber with a marking on the ground. Pick up the stone tablet and climb back up the rope and run back to the exam center. Next, run back to the exam center. Use the stone tablet on the archaeological expert and then you will complete the quest. Okay, well, hope this guide helped you out. Uh, if you want to see any more like it, you can do the subscribe thing if you want. I have uh, quite a few other quests aiming to do even more in the future. So thanks for watching and have a great day.